Hey, what is going on guys? It is Phantom here and welcome back to another video guys So this is going to be episode 2 of the wizard 101 life walkthrough everyone as you can see I got some new wares on my guy here I've got the healers cowl the angelic drape the bar skin boots and of course the starter one and I also equipped the heart stool Which is actually a really really good item, but I just got some basic gear I thought because we just reached level 5, so you know, obviously I have my OP stats and everything, so this is going to help us immensely, and yeah, I don't know, I thought it'd be nice to get a new set of gear. Anyway, let's continue the dialogue here, and yes, I am listening to dialogue, by the way, for those of you who might be new. Uh, oh my god, wait, they totally just changed this. What? I forgot they changed this part too. Oh, that's insane. Okay, we gotta talk to Lincoln here. I guess everyone's gonna introduce themselves. Hi! You must be the new student I've heard so much about. You made quite a name for yourself on Unicorn Way. Yes, indeed. I'm Mr. Lincoln, and I just have some quick paperwork to get you enrolled. Signature here, initials there, and a lock of hair here. Whoa. Are you allergic to unicorns or eyes of Newt? Good. That takes care of that. <laughs> to complete your enrollment, come meet your professors. Yay. Welcome. I am the professor of the ice school, where we teach thaumaturges to endure like permafrost, withstanding all attacks. Ew. While in the storm school, we instruct young diviners to strike hard, fast as lightning, defeat the enemy before they know what hit them. <laughs> We pyromancers of the fire school prefer to carefully fan the flames, Ooh. utilizing damage over time spells. We slow burn our enemies to cinders. Hi, Dahlia. Commanding the elements is indeed impressive, but theurgists of the life school seek harmony with nature. Oh, that's which me. Which gives us the power to heal others. Yay, that's my professor, by the way. Sorcerers also seek harmony. Symmetry in all things balances unique magic from Crocotopia, which supports and enhances the other schools. Is he seriously turned the other way? Fireballs and flowers. Freshman oh. magic that. My all god. All wizards summon monsters to fight for us, but only the best conjurers dare study the ways of myth. I hate him already. And I'm Malone, not, um, exactly a professor. <laughs> We haven't had a real deaf professor since the last one turned evil and destroyed the school, so, um... Uh... <laughs> but I can get you started at being a necromancer. Our death spells drain health from enemies, damaging them and healing ourselves at the same time. <laughs> you have chosen to embrace life magic. Yes. Good. Ours is a magic that resonates with the song of creation itself. Let's go begin your studies. We gotta study now? Oh, what? I get ported. Oh, dude. It, oh my god, I go directly here? This is so different. Allow me to formally introduce myself, young wizard. I am Mulinda Wu. You may come to me often to learn new life spells. Yes, that is why I'm here. As your skill level grows, I will call upon you to come learn unique spells that will help your mastery of the thurgical arts blossom. <laughs> blossom, yeah. For now, try training the leprechaun spell. Yes! Then return to Mr. Lincoln. We will speak again when the time is right. You're already learning multi-pip spells? Oh, splendid! I know. At the beginning of each round of combat, you gain a pip. You use these, like mana, to power spells. Some spells, like this one, take more than one pip to cast. To use it, pass a turn, or cast a zero pip spell to build up your pip supply. Yeah, a lot more, like, user-friendly. Alright, we got Leprechaun. Let's go. Awesome. Oh, I also have an amulet that gives me, uh, this Lightning Bats card. I just chose it because it gives a ton of damage, and I'm just, like, level 5, so I... <laughs> I don't know. We can take out Nymph. I mean, I got a bigger deck as well, yeah. Just gear upgrades all around, you know. You gotta you gotta have those really good stats at the start. It's very, very important. But man, I got swagger right now. I don't know, dude. Just just look at me. Okay, Mr. Lincoln. You've met your professor. Great! You can train spells in your school for free. But to learn other school spells, you must spend training points. Right. Here, I'll give you one now. Use it to start training a secondary school. And if you change your mind later, see me to buy back training points. 
Right. I, I just remembered, so we are the life school, so we will get Seder for free, so we won't have to waste training points on that. Anyway, now that you're enrolled, you get your own dorm room to store items and decorate however you want. This is the boys' dorm here. Nice. And this is the girls' dorm. You can also use the go home button to reach your dorm room from anywhere. I'll probably get a house at some point, I just don't know when. Once you get settled in, report to the headmaster. Okay. So we're gonna not go in the dorm. <laughs> It is not- it's not very interesting in there. I don't- I don't think it'd be a very good use of our time. But I think Ambrose needs our help here. So we gotta go do that. Alright. Ambrose? You're officially enrolled now? <laughs> then let me formally welcome you with this new healing spell. Oh, we get another one? Let me oh, also fairy. introduce you to our resident advisor, Abby K. Doodle. She can tell you all about our many electives uh, when you have time. Okay. But on to more serious matters. It seems the troubles in Unicorn Way were but the tip of an evil iceberg. Good analogy. While you were gone, chaos erupted all over the city. Undead run amok in the streets, and our former allies have turned against us. Malastare must be behind this. <laughs> it's Malastare. Your victory on Unicorn Way makes you the perfect person to deal with this crisis. I foresaw you might save Wizard City. Now's your chance. Hmm. Go to Old Town and talk to Sergeant Muldoon immediately. We must set things right and discover Malastare's goal in all this. Good luck. One last word before you embark on your quest. I've tried to answer most of the questions you'd have, but there is much more to tell you. If you haven't looked into your spell book yet, oh click on the book in the bottom right of your screen. Gemma, we know this. Click on the question mark tab. Many of the questions you might have are answered in the help pages. Uh-huh. Oh, good luck, young wizard. Can he stop doing that? Like, <laughs> seriously, it's... I mean, I guess it is really, really basic stuff, because I'm technically a new player, but I don't know. Okay, Sergeant Muldoon here. I'm wondering, which street should we do first? Because he's gonna he's gonna give us this, the quest for the three streets. I'm not sure. Maybe Cyclops Lane? Because it's, like, the first one? I don't know. Alright, I believe they also changed the positions of, like, a ton of the guards. So, like, they're not all three here now. Yeah, they're all, like, dispersed among the streets. Yeah, there's, like, one down there and everything. Alright, hello, Muldoon. Beware! Beyond these gates, the city's gone mad. Wait, you're the hero of Unicorn Way. Yes. The headmaster sent you to help? <laughs> Thank goodness. Me, the hero of Unicorn Way. We've got undead all over the place. Uh -oh. Every cursed spirit and vile ghost we sealed away has broken free and attacked the city. Nowhere is safe. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess, I mean, obviously it's part of the new quest line, but... <laughs> now what? Oh, <laughs> well, it's a pet. They're kind of like a wizard's familiar. They help uh. out in all sorts of ways, from discovery to dueling. All right. But it shouldn't be in that tower. That's the caretaker's tower. Nobody's been in there since old Judd, the keeper of the cemetery, passed. This is interesting, going through, like, the revamp quests. Oh, right. Undead. Wizard, go with the pet. Work together and find out what's happening in that tower. Get some snacks as well? Okay. So, wait, where's the tower? Right here? Oh, here's the pet. <laughs> this is so weird, honestly. You now have a pet egg in your inventory. Once it hatches, you can equip the pet just as you would a wand and bring it into the tower. Emerald beetle? Wait, does this hat... Did... Okay, it hatched instantly. I get a little life beetle. Does this have... The special I I don't know. Okay, let's just equip it. I don't really care. No! I lost! I can't believe I you other wizard! Hurry! You have to help! You shouldn't have come to this tower. No, shouldn't have done that. Gonna interfere with things don't concern you. <laughs> like my plan to turn all pets into zombies. Pets, I You'll see you will when it comes to pets. Sometimes undead is better. Oh. If you have a pet equipped, it can help you in battle. Alright. Thanks, Gamma. So, okay. I guess he doesn't give anything good. Anyway, first, well, not first fight. First fight of the episode, though. Old Judd here. 
Let's save up for our lightning bats. Just gonna pass right there. Gotta save Penny from this guy. So, if you guys didn't know, this was not part of the main quest line beforehand. This whole introduction to pets and everything came a bit later, so. There we go. There we go. Rip. Well, I know when I'm walked, but I threw the key to my pet kennel into the kennel itself, I did. You can't get through those bars, no how. <laughs> what? That's terrible. We have to get into that kennel. But how? Huh? Oh, I'm Penny Dreadful. I'm new here. When I saw this zombie guy stealing the pets, I tried to stop him and I guess I need more practice. You were great, though. But I don't suppose you have any shrinking spells to help us slip through those bars? Oh! What about your pet? It's pretty small. Can you command it to go into the next room and get the key? So this is the plays your pet feature? Is that what they're introducing to us? You are now commanding your pet, allowing you to get to places and see things wizards can't. Use this ability to enter the next room. I'm wondering what would have happened if I wasn't, like... <laughs> oh, look at us, just... <laughs> I'm wondering what would have happened if I didn't- if I hadn't had my pet equipped after that battle. Would this happen anyway? I- I don't know. This is so weird. What the hell, dude? Alright, don't mind me. Just gonna inch my way over here to the key. <laughs> oh my god, this is so- <laughs> Alright, we got the key. Uh... Oh, he's got some pets trapped over here. Wait, what are these guys doing? Hello? Can I get you out? Uh, maybe not? Okay. There's another room over there. I kind of want to explore because, like, this is a new area we've never actually really seen before. Unless you have this quest, of course, but it's cool. I like the whole design of the tower and everything. Oh, back to normal. Hello, Penny. Now that your pet has retrieved the key, you can unlock and enter the next room. Let me, uh, just turn this on. Great! Now let's go save all those poor pets! Let's go! Rescue the pets! This is weird. <laughs> Penny's kind of annoying, though, if I'm being honest. Ah, these cells have combination locks, and only old Judge would know the code. I mean, maybe the captive pet saw him put in the correct combo, but I don't speak pet. Do you? I'm seriously asking. <laughs> maybe we can guess the combo. Mm, let's see. Zero, 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 one. Nope, not it. Zero, 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 two. Not it. Forget it. This is ridiculous. Everyone's British now. That that's what changed in the in the beginning of the game. Our only sensible option is to find some way to talk to these captive pets and get the combo. Yes, we must obtain the combo. All right, I'm back as my beetle. Here we go. <laughs> you move so slowly. Yep. I saw that smelly guy put in the combo lots of times. It's zero 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 three. <laughs> For what is this? There we go. Oh, yeah, okay. So we can only do that as our pet. It's Don't weird. worry. I'll make sure the pets get back to the pet pavilion in one piece. Check it out sometime to learn all about pet training. Thank you, Penny. After they're safe, I'll go to the headmaster's office and complete my enrollment. Come find me when you get a chance. For right now, though, go tell the guard outside what's happened here. I just want to, like, walk around a bit more, because, like, this is a new tower area. I've never really seen, like, anything like this. Okay, so this is just a room. Yeah, so that's just... I don't know. It's just... It's interesting, though. It's interesting how they decided to, like, open up these areas that have been in the game forever. But, like, you know. Alright, I believe Muldoon is right outside here, so let's go to him. The music in there absolutely slapped, by the way. Alright, he's up here. Uh, we're on our way, guys. We're on our way. You saved the pets and a young student? Not bad. But our work is just beginning, and I need all the help I can get. Speaking of which, your pet has gained enough experience, XP, from this quest to level up. As pets level up, they can learn new talents. Wait, really? Just from this quest? With this talent, you can command your pet to attack. Select your pet's power card before you choose your wizard's action for the turn. 
Yeah, will casts. This right. talent costs a bit of your pet's happiness each time you use it. You can increase your pet's happiness by feeding it pet snacks. Right. I've got alarming reports from Cyclops Lane and Triton Avenue, and I haven't heard anything out of Firecat Alley. Oh so, man. Where do you want to start? Where do I want to start? Okay, so we have. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So it does get the will cast here. So this is like part of the tutorial. So we can use that. Okay. So we have Triton Avenue, Cyclops Lane, and Firecat Alley. Which one do we want to do first? I'm thinking we do the new Triton Avenue first. So I think I'll, I'll get all these quests right now, though. Triton Avenue's being overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to offer help. Two wizards named Griffin Bane went in a little while ago. And there was another named Grimwater. Oh, we remember him. But none of them have come out. And I've gotten no word. Can you help me try to find them? Good luck. And above all, be careful. Okay, will do. Uh, let's get the rest here. One of my guards, Whoa. Private Quinn, sent a message asking for aid. It just reverted back to the old dialogue. What the fuck? Can't spare any men. But maybe you can help. He's on fire, Cat Alley. That's so weird. They didn't change... There's a kid on Cyclops Lane named Nolan Stormgate. You should talk to him. He sounds like he's in trouble. If you didn't know, that last piece of dialogue was for that other area, Fire Cat Alley, and then this one's for Cyclops Lane. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to those. He's dealing with the giants there and has been asking us to send students. Better go see what he wants. That's so strange. His voice is so much more, like, deep and raspy. All right, let's do Triton Avenue first, because I know they updated the quest line for that. But I don't think they did with the other areas. They might in the future, I'm not really sure. But for now, let's just do this. So we gotta find the Griffin Banes here. If my game will load, it, it, it really depends. Look there, wizard. Do you see that device? It's a teleporter. If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on this street. You can get where you're going quickly. Ooh. You there. Help. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't. They switched Ardor and Susie. I, that's so weird. They also added these electric eel moths, which I guess it's kind of cool. I guess it kind of makes sense because it's connected to the ocean. I'm lucky you came along. Yes, you are. Something has broken the flow of storm magic through the street. Those towers should have arcs of lightning between them. This is bad. <laughs> My sister Susie and I came to see if we could help get things back under control, but we got separated. The haunted minions drove me back. The haunted minions drove you- oh my god. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through? Attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river. Ardor, your storm! How could you not defeat some- oh man. Alright. Let's try out our new will cast, because I guess my pet got teen from this. Alright, so here it is. It will cost 5 happiness of our 50, so we'll do that. Can I- does that work? Is there like a specific way to do this? I don't know. Did I do it right? I, I have no idea. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a noob to this too. Okay, I did it. Yeah, I did it right. Alright, so he'll do that. Go to the center. And there we go. Is he dead? Uh, I don't think so. Rip. Okay, so that's, that's interesting. I just don't see how... I don't really see how that talent would be like... I don't really see how this would be good in like a non lower low in like a higher level setting i don't i don't know all right there's our first haunted minion down all right i'm going to defeat the rest and then i will see you guys when i've done that all right that should be the last one there what is our next quest talk to ardor again we got some soft boots okay nice Alright, so this is the updated Triton Avenue. Wait, so- They moved Sohomer Sunblade right- Bro, what is happening? Dude, this is so surreal. Oh my god. This new quest line. Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm worried something terrible has happened. On my way here, I saw one of the lightning eels with Susie's wand in its jaws. Oh! Maybe she just dropped it, but maybe not. What can we do? I don't know. I couldn't help but over here. You're very loud. If you can bring me that wand, I may be able to assist. Really? How? Okay. Well, we get mass XP for this, so... Duncan Grimwater, Necromancer. I was drawn here by a massive surge of death magic. 
It must be the reason the undead have overrun the street. I wish Malastare were here. He could stop all this madness instantly. If only he were still alive. Wait, they, everyone thinks he's dead? Is that what this is? Malastare is alive? Oh. Impossible. I don't know what you saw, but you must be mistaken. Someone is trying to deceive you and Professor Ambrose. Oh. Malastare was a great man. The greatest necromancer of this age. Ambrose is responsible for what happened to him. If he hadn't... Oh. Can we talk about this later? My sister's lost out there. You're right. Wizard, bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. All right, so electric eels here. So Homer Sunblade. So if you don't know, this guy was part of a quest line that you actually had to, like, rescue him from, like, a little area up here somewhere. He did not used to be right there. That is that is the point I'm trying to make. Lots of stuff is different. This is weird. All right, we got to go to these electric eels here. So let's weave our way throughout the street. Let's not get pulled. But these guys look really, really cool. I really, really like the design of these guys. Okay. We can try out our will cast some more. Oh yeah, that's right. I can only get one into the battle. That's weird. They have 150 health. Did these guys... I just realized I haven't seen a rotting fodder yet. Hmm. Alright. So we'll do that. And then that. Hopefully I don't fizzle. There we go. How much resist do they have? Okay, he has a fair amount. But he should be dead here. With my will cast and everything. There we go. Much better. Okay, so we collected it right away. That's good, that's good. Alright, gotta go back to Duncan. The music's different too. They made it a lot more intense. That's, that's fucking insane. <laughs> this is so strange. Alright. I wonder if they're gonna update the other areas because they've updated their looks already as they did with Train Avenue, so I'm wondering if they're just gonna update the quests. I mean, they might as well, but I don't know. Excellent! Susie is still alive! I can sense it from her wand. I think I can find her, but there's one more thing I need. I can sense it from her wand, okay. I know a ritual that could grant me a vision of wherever Susie is. It's very advanced. I'm not surprised you don't know it. Hey! The connection between Susie and her wand is one anchor for the ritual, but I need another. I think I know what will work. What? When I was trying to reach the source of the death magic, I ran afoul of the rotting fodder across the river. They're using storm magic. <gasps> that doesn't make any sense. Why are they using storm magic instead of death? <laughs> so dramatic, like... <laughs> they were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy. Bring me those amulets and I can cast my spell. Alright, so we need three, so I'll do- I'll do one fight with y'all. Cause like, I guess it makes sense whenever I fight a new mob to fight it with you guys, cause like, you've never seen it before, but, you know. Also, we got the Kraken just chilling down there, okay. That's fine. Maybe we'll do that side quest, I'm not sure. It is a classic, so I might consider it. And also, there are teleporters here. That's also new. That was not here before, and they actually moved the location- wait. Okay, yeah, this is part of the new quest line too, we'll get to that, but. Yeah, they moved, they moved the teleporters as well. That's so strange. What is happening? Alright, the first riding fodder. They also... It looks like they changed the design of them as well. Like, they used to have, a, like, dark clothing on, too. So, so, so strange. Oh, I forgot to will cast. Fuck. Okay, I fizzled anyway, but... Ow. Okay. Let's see. So we're definitely gonna will cast. Not gonna make that mistake. I just made that mistake. Fuck. I'm so... God, I thought after I casted the spell, I could also use the will cast. Wow, I look like an idiot right now. This is embarrassing. Let's just... Okay, yeah. Just, just will cast. I don't care. Let's have my pet finish him off. That looks so strange. There we go. And he pops back next to me. Awesome. Alright, that's one out of three amulets. I'll see you guys when I've collected the rest here. Don't mind me, just jamming out to the sick new beats here. <laughs> that that this, this, this street has given us. That it has bestowed upon us in all of its updated glory, man. Alright, we gotta go back to Duncan. I've collected all the amulets. What else does he want? Now, let's see what I can see. Very maniacal. 
If I'm right, and I usually am, whoever's enchanting these storm amulets also kidnapped Susie. They probably have Susie imprisoned close by. Oh my god. I can use the link between the wand and Susie to find her, and the link between the storm amulets and their maker to produce a vision. Here goes. Nothing. Whoever this is, they oh. have some powerful magic. I think I could break through the interference with a charged Lumina crystal. Ooh. They make Lumina crystals at the mill across the river. Go talk to Blad Raven Eye and get us a crystal. Will do. All right, so we gotta summon a proper vision, I suppose. So Blad Raven Eye's pal is over there, though, which is really strange. But okay, the music just got happier. I don't understand this, Kingzal. What are you doing? All right, uh, we just got Dryad chilling there. That's 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 fine. Hello, Blad. Lumina crystal, you're out of luck. The undead stole all my crystals. No! I've got lots of raw crystal. I could grind you another one, but the mill's broken. Undead stole the wheel cogs and scattered them all over. But even if I could grind mm -hmm. you a crystal, I couldn't charge it. Rip, my dude. lightning rod won't work. A scarlet screamer stole the primary coil. Uh-huh. You could help get me up and running again. Gather up the cogs and get my coil oh my back God. from the Scarlet Screamers, and I'll There's get a... you a crystal. I think it just like a fucking garbage truck ran by him. I'm sorry about that if that was super fucking loud. Alright, I think it's gone now, so we gotta collect these cogs. Which are littered throughout this street. Alright, there's one. Yeah, okay. So, this shouldn't be that hard. What else do I need to do? Okay. Collect some coil? Is that, is that what that said? From the Scarlet Screamers? Alright. I will collect these cogs, and then I'll probably just do one of the one screamer fight with you guys. So let's get that, and then there's our third one, and then I believe a little bit up the street there should be some scarlet screamers there. I think. Okay, yeah, we got our arrow pointing anyway. So, wow. Let me know if you guys are enjoying though. Definitely, it's definitely something different. All right, here these guys are. They updated their animation too. It looks like. All right. So let's. Let's actually Leprechaun him, but first we'll do our little will cast. Because they have a bit more health. Alright. Frame drop there. That's fine. Alright. And also, guys, I will probably have, like, a actual pet in the next episode. Like, one with good stats and everything. I know it's not going to be perfect because I do have an old life pet that I'd like to show off, but, you know. I do have, so I have, like, a decent life pet that I've had for, like, a really long time, but I'm probably going to work on getting, like, a better one because, as you guys will see, probably in the next episode, like, the stats are not perfect, so. I'll probably perfect those, uh, sometime, but you guys will definitely see a pet in the next episode. Alright, we got one. Alright, I'll see you guys when I've defeated the rest of these boys. So I might have just missed some dialogue there, but she said this, you can read it and choose to voice act it yourself if you so choose, but... There's that <laughs> missing piece of dialogue. Oh my god, so that's so weird. The mobs didn't used to like talk to you after you beat them. So that's definitely different. Alright, I think we're probably approaching the end of this episode though. I feel like we've been going for a while, but... I'm gonna try to make these episodes in regards to like the Pirate 101 walkthrough. I'm gonna try to make these a bit longer, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like in the Pirate, they're like a little bit more fast paced, you know? But I don't know, just makes sense to me. Splendid! Now! Put those cogs to good use and get the old wheel turning. I'll fix the lightning rod. Get the old wheel turning. All right. All right, we're ready. Here, just pull this lever and we'll charge that lumina crystal right up. All right. Yeah. Oh, this actually, dude, the new graphic. Okay, I'm sorry. The, the new graphics just look awesome. Like I've not done Triton Avenue with the new graphics in a very long time, but there's like a whole new machine here that didn't used to be here before, and the waterfall looks different. I'm sorry, I can't help it, guys. This is all new to me. Ah, well done, wizard. I mean, it's probably new to like a lot of people as well, but a lot of people said they enjoyed like the new quest line, you know, in the in the first episode. So. Thanks to you, I'm back in business. You're welcome, friend. Here you are, one brand new, fully charged Lumina crystal. She's a beauty. I hope she serves you well. Thank you, Vlad. Oh, what's is that the? I think that's the pet guy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna do those quests because they're not really, they're not really necessary. They don't really give anything actually. So I don't know. And plus, Gamma already did a pretty thorough job explaining pets, but 
Alright. If you guys really want to guide on pets, watch my pet guide video, but... <laughs> That, okay. Illumina Crystal! This should be just what we need! The Illumina Crystal will boost the power of my ritual. It'll work this time, I'm sure of it. Really? It's working! Oh boy. Susie! I can see her! But what was that horrifying thing with her? That's the Harvest Lord. We studied him in class! He's a powerful spirit from the Underworld who harvests the souls of the innocent! Why is every creature from the Underworld? It looked like she's in Galvano's Tower. That must be where the Harvest Lord is enchanting the storm amulets. Wizard, please. Oh, <laughs> his dialogue got cut off there. Oh my god. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this video. In the next episode, I promise, okay, I promise we will defeat the Harvest. We will go to Galvano's Tower. We will defeat the Harvest Lord. We will rescue Susie from his undying menace. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. We ran through most of the updated Triton Avenue questline, I believe. There are a few more things that we have to get done in the next episode, but we'll get to those very, very soon. Anyways, I hopefully, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Wow, talking is talking is hard when you've done it for a while, but anyways, guys, that's going to be all from me. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. We will continue the wizard storyline in the next video. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the walkthrough so far, even though it is only episode two, but we, you know, we'll, we'll rack up those numbers pretty soon. I promise, guys. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys, and peace out.